Hello, ladies, gents, and monsters, giving me the full suck. We return to the shadow of the earth tree. Let's see what is in the cemetery. Clearly not the dangerous spot. Just grab the thing. Larval tear. Hell yeah. Everything was gathered around. All these spectral gravestones gathered to see the birth of this larval tear. How wonderful. And this is the last spot that I have yet to explore in the the little bit of a wilderness area before we head into the big gigantic freaking landmarks do i see something moving ambush run down traveler's rest furnace visage nasty i hear some kind of nonsense some kind of noise yep yep there's some kind of monster Stalking these shadows. Another furnace visage. And you? Another crafting recipe. Well, I'm not being stalked because I can bring out the map. Oh, uh, <clears throat> the noise is outside. <laughs> oh, the window open. Because it's the summer. And the neighbors are doing some kind of nonsense. And I... Uh, I confused it with the actual things in the game. All right, what do you hefty furnace pot? All the hefty furnace, the pot, hefty pot recipes, hefty pot casserole is what is going to be next. A smaller imitation of the furnace golem's visage, furnace golem. That's the creature that destroyed me. I see. Material used for crafting items, 16 and rare, to find a stone mass surrounded by curled horns, depicting the fell god of fire that haunts the sagas of the horn scent. Larval tear. It's not a new thing, though. Isn't it the same thing? An exceptionally rare creature that burgeons from spirit graves and lives only a fleeting existence. Neither flesh nor spirit, but something in between. Material required by the amber egg cradled by Rena. Yeah, it's the thing. It's the same thing. But for some reason, for some reason, it's a different kind of tear. Uh, this exists. This is a key item. I think it's a key item. Uh, damn it, I'm going to find it now. Larval tear, and then you also have larval tear, but this one's spectral. Ooh, spooky. All right, amazing. I am glad that I cleared this out. I did pick up a few weapons in the previous episode that I did not give a chance because, you see, I encounter a freaking dragon. So let's uh, check them out. I am particularly curious about that katana. I looked at it in the inventory. Uh, they not actually try it out. Seems like we are done with this entire area. Let's make sure they not miss anything behind this giganto pillar. And if we are done, indeed, indeed, we are. All right. This looks like we are now ready to go back to the three path cross, Rainmain Freja, and the weirdo with the warm face. We're gonna go over there and we're going to test some weapons. Is your weirdo friend still here? Yep, yep, sure is. All right, that's the next place we're going. I am ever so intimidated by the architecture of giants. But before that, let's check out the Great Katana. Ah, uh, it requires 18 dexterity. That is unfortunate. I have a puny 15, and I want to spend my... my level some vigor at least the first 10 levels i'm gonna get are going to be bigger check out at least the moveset look at the giant size of this thing it's great katana for a reason all right very swingy very nice strong attack look at that what ash of war it's a stance strong attack does that all right Regular attack, it's just a swing. It's very intimidating. How about single-handed? Ah, you're also two-handed like that. I see, I see, I see. And single-handed, it feels like very awkward, buddy. It feels like single-handling a halberd. It always hurts me. When you, when you wield a halberd in just one hand, I think I don't even have one. Oh, yeah, I do have one. In just one hand, this moveset hurts my spine. Just looking at it, it feels like it's just so uncomfortable to use. I hate it. 
And uh, that's the main reason why I don't like uh, halberds in general, because of the one-handed moveset. And then there is the backhand blade, which is like the most mole ninja thing that I've ever seen in Dark Souls. It's like... I am sure there is a phony fighting style out there <laughs> that uses backhanded blades. The Witcher will do it, but come on, man. This is so freaking silly. <laughs> Holding blades like this, I cannot imagine a situation where it is better to hold it this way than it is to just hold the blade normally, <laughs> you know? Cool as hell, don't uh, l let me knock it. But just for the, that reason, I just feel like a, a tryhard trying to wield this. But I did say that we will use the new things and I'm going to do it, damn it. They did something in the patch that it no longer allows me to do this fast. It is so weird. There is something about it that the upgrading the entire process, the clicking, it is more clumsy. It weirds me out. Anyway, let's see what kind of Ash of War does it come with. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't use it, but it was kind of, it was okay. That's, can I actually change it? Yeah. Blind spot. That's what it has. Uh, if I make it heavy, an A with scaling is very decent. That's good scaling. Clearly, dexterity is, I think, better because it still keeps some strength scaling, so... Probably a keen, it is supposed to be a keen, maybe even quality. This looks good. It's probably a quality weapon, huh? Or maybe it's just one of those flexible things that you can put whatever the hell you want in it. Be with faith is decent. Flame art? Meh. Cult, huh? Alright. One of those fast weapons, maybe make it um, a cult. Blood, 82 co uh, blood build up because my arcane is tr trash. Probably it's a, a status weapon kind of thing. Let's put a slap a heavy infusement on it and we'll make it electric. I will roll with it for a little while. I could even be convinced to put an ancient oh, dragon stone in. There you go. Spending the big bucks. To be the most badass mole ninja you have ever seen. Alright, let's spend these runes as well. Give me a point of vigor. Pretty sure that... Yeah, 221,000. That's the current necessary. Let's put 60 vigor on butthole. Uh, it, it feels wrong not to have 60 vigor. Let's go back to the land. So shadow, go into that gigantic archway. I am so curious to see where it leads. Probably just to the giant... Um, it either leads to the top of the cliff. I don't think so. I don't think it will do that. What I think it will do is lead to this fortified area right there. But uh, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, mole ninja engaged. Um, we're going to definitely electrify it. Of course, of course. Let's go. Travel into this mysterious land. Man, you can't even see the ceiling. This thing is so tall. Feels like traveling back through the Sagrada Familia. Some ancient Roman ruins. What kind of attack does this do on horseback? Let me, let me uh, quickly electrify this armament. Ow. You will regret attacking me like this. You scum lord. <laughs> Get backstabbed. Bitch. Get me out of here. I just wanted to attack people with my cool backhanded blades, okay? So what is going on here? It is inside a... Inside this arch, but there's also a cliff inside it. What is going on? This is like the worst. <laughs> Why is it so murky? Why is it so dark and weird? Maybe because it's completely underground. That is a good, you know, good answer for that. But it just kind of annoys me. Looks like you can just die if you drop off here, huh? Now, let me just get off the horse. <laughs> Smithing Smith Stone 3. He's putting the valuable items where I needed them. 
It seems like we're just climbing uh, all the way to the top, maybe? Ugh. <sighs> Freaking gargoyles. At least they don't do a ton of damage. I'm liking the damage on these things, though, when you electrify them. And use your strength. It's pretty good. Let me see the equipment, the, the kind of damage they're doing. 2 plus 232, about uh, close to 800. 782. But of course it's split damage, so, you know, it's not optimal. So who cares about that? It's cool as hell. I really like the amulet that increases the um, duration of all the buffs. It makes buffs fun to use, as opposed to something that is just constantly having to reapply, you know? Probably reaches the five minute mark. Oh yeah. Probably gets all the way up to five minutes, the duration of the electrification. Side of Grace, I hate this area. It's so freaking ugly after the incredible visuals outside. It's like, why, why would you even include this? <laughs> why am I in this lugubrious, terrible, unsightly place? Hello, creature. Death! I bring death upon you. Was there a dog or was it... I don't know what the hell was uh, small there attacking me. At least the sky is clearing. All right, all right. I mean, I understand that it's like, you know, it's a cave. But I hated it. I hated every moment that I spent traversing that area. There was more paths. I took the upward path. That uh, Actually, that reminds me. We're going to do something like this. Eliminate that one. This will remind me, hey, you got to go the other way. You went one way. There was other paths to be explored. This is that's what I came from, right? Am I right? It's not. It is it is what I came from. All right. All right. All right. That's the path that I did not follow. And that looks like another cross of Mikola. Let me make sure. There you go. Much better marked. All right. We'll be back. For now, we're ex going to explore these uh, dilapidated ruins. This truly. Dark environment. Give me some uh, more electrification, please. I don't want it running out while I'm fighting this disgusting creature. And in fact, let's get Regen to do some work for me instead of using a flask. I don't know why I'm trying to like make max when I'm right next to the side of Grace, but whatever. Oh, I'm not doing it anymore. The single-handed, the single-handed move set is also pretty cool. You know, it's not bad. Anyway. Monsters? What is that? A monster! Destroy! <laughs> the kill the squirrel! It's like to be a bunny. Mm, thin beast bones. It's like what I needed for my stew. I'm going to gather around Freja and I. When I call Melina back, she's going to forgive me in the in the land of shadow. She's still alive! I burned down the earth tree all by myself. Here I am, the martyr. Being a real simp, making sure she stays alive, or I guess in the spirit form that she is in. Is she really alive? I don't know, but you know, she still exists, as opposed to letting her burn things for, in my behalf. Okay, what's up? Charge attack. Think about these curved blades, you would think because of the way that they, they look. They will have a lot of strikes, but they seem to not be focused on that. I don't think they would make for very good status weapons, because the number of attacks is not very high. Alright, alright. There's clearly paths to go down that way. This will connect down there quite nicely. But we have little uh, nondescript cliffs to explore. Ah, great! <laughs> exactly what I was looking for. I did say we're not going to bypass any enemies, but, you know, these are all enemies that I have already killed. In different forms. What's your deal? 
I think they are just carrying the pot and then the pot explodes. And that's what the skull is. I haven't actually paid attention to it. Alright, looks like we are victorious over these pathetic shadows. We taught them a, a real lesson. And now we're here. Still being chased? Not anymore. Alright. Definitely want to explore all that and we're going to probably do the entire... Yeah, look at all that. All those places to go. That looks like a proper... I won't go as far as Legacy Dungeon, but something like Celia. That's what it looks like in there. Just a nice little town. Prospect Town. Let's go into Prospect Town. We'll continue exploring. Because I am a forgetful fella. Let me just mark it. <laughs> I'm just so bad about you know, forgetting to do things and stuff. Let's go first into Prospect Town and then we'll carry on down the cliff. If I find a way in. Is it through here? I don't think so. This is just the cleft that we saw from the top up there. Some weirdo. We have fought many of you and you're guarding absolutely nothing. You can eat my ass. Actually, no. Let me just uh, get ourselves some electricity. And this is death upon this scum lord. I was a little too eager to roll. Never punished, though. A string, huh? Ooh. What made me change my mind was this weird red dot. Sanguine Amaryllis. A blood flower with meaty petals. You can put them in your face and they are full of protein. Grown by blood fiends in pools of blood. Perhaps even the fiends are my blood's beauty. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Hey, dawn has cracked. It's beautiful rays upon us. We are no longer surrounded by those tenebrous environment that was driving me crazy. I did not like it. Anyway, I, I want to go into the prospective towns. What the hell is going on here? There you go. That's the entrance. What a weird entrance. Clearly a very run down area. You are the bait. Don't think that I don't know how this works. You're the bait for this man's ambush? You are one ugly son of a bitch. Holy crap, you're ugly. Yeah. And see, in the darkness, I couldn't appreciate how hideous these combats are. Holy crap. Man, almost as bad as my mother-in-law. That is just so horrible. Beast blood. I never have enough of those. You know, that's... Uh, always carry a vial with you whenever you are out and about in the town. Looks like a, maybe a path. I'm uh, an exploring individual. Okay, some eagles up there. Please don't be of the Farumazula variety. <laughs> that annoyed the crap out of me. That was the most pointless roundabout thing that I ever did. I do want to know if there's a way into this particular building, though. Or perhaps on top of this particular building. Yep. Yep. Parkour! Okay, that was 100% pointless. But you never know until you do it, damn it. Electrify me again, please. These weapons are not very good without a buff. Well, that infusion will be quite a bit better, I bet. What is this? Oh, I thought it was a summoning pool. It is just a primitive grave. I just desecrated little Timmy's little grave. For the troll kind. The entire town is going to come out. It's going to avenge that poor restless spirit. Prospect Town. I wonder what this is supposed to be. Like, what is the lore here? What is going on over there? Let me uh, put away these weapons really quick. Give me something a little more AoE friendly. We don't even need to equip the dual wielder. Yep. I see. I see. Let me uh, equip myself properly for the battle that is to come. Do I want to even flask here? Nah. It's the black wing protection. 
this, I'll even top off. Engage! What is this peaceful gathering? Disperse! Disperse! Rawr! Seems to me you're worshipping false idols. Ah. Being poked by the red eyed monstrosity. Whoa, holy crap! <laughs> They're mad. Oh, they mad. <laughs> holy crap! Please! <laughs> okay, uh, retreat, reassess. Psych! Kaboom! <laughs> oh, well, the reach on this thing is not very good. The uh, spew blood, huh? Woo! Okay, but I'll just run. They have like a mode bubble of sorts. Oh, is this scum lord? Here, let me just club your head open. Stop! Ow, ow, ow. Whoa! Wow! Oh! That son of a bitch interrupted my super duper mega attack. How could you do that? How could you do that? Just pick me right out of the air. Don't barf at me, that's so rude. I did not consent. Uh, this peaceful gathering has come to an end. Blood fiends are nice, nice, very nice. I do wonder, like, being in New Game Plus 175 level, is it easier or, or harder? Harder or easier than it would be for a newcomer? I do wonder. Let me check out this thing, though. Blood Fiend's Arm. It's an arcane weapon? Colossal weapon. Weapon used by the Blood Fiends. An arm pulled from the corpse of one of their kin and wielded as a makeshift weapon. These people are savages! Having been sanctified by a bloody ritual, this armament is capable of spraying blood stored within the executing... Within, when executing a strong attack. <coughs> I see. Wonderful. Let me equip it just to check it out. I do like looking at new weapons. It's just a giant freaking meaty club. It's a, uh, it's a turkey leg from the fair is what it is. Just a giant club. Strong attack. I see. Ash of War? It's just Endure. Or, you know, a variety of Endure. Alright. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let me go back to my backhand blade. I'm glad that I am not dead. Like, it feels like that encounter should have destroyed me. But it went pretty well. There was a few upsetting spots. But nothing terrible. Kill myself with juice. I feel like I underutilized all the all my miracles. I'm somebody that likes the martial gameplay. I don't really like shooting from afar, either miracles or otherwise. Or just bow an arrow kind of thing. I do like to get really involved. Outer God Erdo. That looks like maybe probably plus five arcane, right? Am I right? I'm, I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> a talisman engraved with the lore of an outer god raises arcane the clan who lost everything in the great fires, peered upon the corpse of their ancestor, normally an act of sanctity, and saw in its shadow a twisted deity. The clan has suffer had suffered such torment that the horrible thing was taken as an object of worship. All right. The, the reason why I could guess so spot on that it was an arcane talisman that one, when I was, you know, playing around with talent, how weird is it that there's no arcane booster when there's all the other stat boosters, but there's no arcane talisman. And two, we are surrounded by, like, arcane type of theme. So that is why I could make such a great educated guess. I'm just patting myself in the back because I'm a freaking genius. All right. I uh, guess there's nothing else to be done. I'm pretty sure that we reached the end of that. As usual, I am liable to be missing an item somewhere. Is this like the actual way that I needed to come up? I'm so confused. Like, I don't remember this part, but I uh, traversed it the other way around. Oh yeah, alright, okay. 
<laughs> Alright, let's go back down. Continue exploring all the way over to the lake, see what's here. More disgusting creatures. More filthy ass, hideous trolls. That guy has a dog. Don't like it. Don't like them there. Washala. I don't like it when they are not alone. Give myself a little bit of extra juice. Let's do some violence. Probably should attack. Ow! Should attack the dog first. Never mind, I'm, I'm too good. I'm too good at the video game. Oh, nice. We even got a nice replenishment of our juices. What is this? What? Did I just talk to you? I was about to attack. I was like, but they're so out of place here. Maybe I can talk. Or your blood. Oh, you don't actually talk. You just give me stuff, huh? I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let you live, buddy. Because the... The weird insect people, they are intelligent. They're just extremely aggressive in the lands between. This guy, though, he's chill. He's just gathering, forging food for his family. Who am I to stop him? An honest worker. He's not right. Not right. But man, I was so close to murdering that guy. <laughs> that poor bastard. All right, that was pretty cool. That was pretty easy. Hey, it's a pond full of dogs. Die! Wow, you're tank. Seems like I need to be even more aggressive. Yep, they still drop turtle turtle neck. <laughs> They're just nothing special about these dogs. It's just turtles. You're just being an asshole by disturbing the wildlife. Surrounded by horrendous troll monstrosities, shadow creatures, giant fell river fire spewing monsters, and turtles. Nice, very nice. Revere spirit ash. Uh, I will try not to use spirit ashes, but I have zero problem doing it if it becomes evident that, hey, this battle it's just destroying me. I'm going to use it. Like, I have no problem whatsoever. Let me just buff up again. Uh, no, no. Go back. There you go. What do you guys do against the Black Flame? Let's see. Let's find out. Burn! That's pretty ass. Frenzy Burst. Huh. Maybe it's just that I don't have a whole lot of... Good attacker. I think they're just everything here is probably just uh, resistant to fire. I'm going to assume that's the case. I should memorize better spells instead of the fire spells. But this is the talismans that I have. Uh, all right. Well, we're going to continue the talismans. I meant the the seals. Why are you here? Die! guy is golden. Oh, that's a, just the path all the way back down, huh? Alright. No reason for me to kill that bird. Oh, you cannot... Alright, all right. I was like, really? It connects? But no, it doesn't. Zero reason to be hunting down these mecha birds. I guess they're stone birds. You call them rocks. What? Oh, I see. They're vulgar moose. Are you hostile? <laughs> it's actually just a giant goat. I love it. You know what? You do you. I, I literally, I endorse your existence. Your one bit of wildlife that I will not just outright murder. I want to go back to the top, please. Oh, we're back here, all right. Why are you aggressive, though? I mean, I do have electric. While we're here, might as well not use the electric. But we also don't care for fire, right? Let's just go back to the Banished Sword. Some good old sacred... Sacred damage. Death! 
You're a regular goat. Uh, I said that I would not disturb you, but I lied. You don't care. You just don't care. You're just a goat peaceful to the end. Perhaps you were a peaceful protester. Don't want to engage in any kind of, of violent behavior. Oh, geez, you exploded with like Oh, your entire herd is now pissed at me, as they should be. If I get killed by goats, I will uninstall. Please, don't humiliate me this way. Thing with the moveset of the great sword. It doesn't have a nice sweep unless you do the strong attack. I really should be using the regular strong attack without charging it. That's how you want to kill some freaking freaking wildlife ancient dragon pod we need yellow fulgur bloom really want to equip some of these i only have one empty pot though sure craft it equipment all the way at the bottom no 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 let's get rid of that we're gonna put on or even is it there you go the fattest pot ever conceived. This thing is a pumpkin right up my ass. All right. Let's find out what's at the top of the cliff. But first, let's find out what's around the, uh, this area. Clearly, we don't need to disturb the goats. I don't think they would drop anything. The thing that I grabbed, and these goats are actually aggressive. Uh, the thing that I grabbed was just on the floor, right? It did not drop from the goat itself. Either way, it is it's a freaking waste of time. <laughs> Do they kill giant goats in the woods? I am the Elden Lord. Freaking killing goats in the woods. This is just so undignified, so beneath me. Wonder if I should be making an effort to come here at night. Because in the lands between, there are so many bosses that just come out at night. Between the death birds. Ooh, a painting. Between the de beth death birds and the night riders. It's like you only want to travel at night if you want to encounter all the bosses. Another artist depiction. Trying to figure out have we been there already? It is familiar. But that's the kind of thing I was like, ah, do I really want to go searching for the, the artist depictions? That is so tedious. That's the one thing I'm like, I will write a look that up, buddy. Uh, I do want to read descriptions, though. I'm a big fan. Said so to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcoming to death's embrace. The soul of the painter, vestigial, blah, blah, blah. All right. Looks like a church down there. Could that be a sacred tear? Is there such a thing? Oh, that's a boar. <laughs> What's going on? What is this? What is this terrible monstrosity stalking these lands? Right, let's go all the way down to the church if I can. Do I need to jump on it? Surely that is not what is required of me. That seems I like just bait to get me killed. Freaking bear! Don't ruin bear me. It's just a regular bear. Oh, but you're not regular at all. You're freaking glowing red. Alrighty, alright. It is an, a proper battle. You are just infected with some kind of garbage. Ah! Oh, jeez! Freaking pissed off Pumba. That was obnoxious. Can I drop here? Inconclusive. Oh, somebody else did it. Let's do it. All right, this is the path down. What is that, though? Oh, there's a bone dude. And you're, you're freaking tanky. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for humiliating me so thoroughly. Please stop. Not a lot of points that should be attacking more aggressively. Oh, no, that's a mistake. Not a lot of poise. Should be really aggressive with these guys. Instead of being a cautious little... 
pansy. Okay. Goes both ways. Clearly we want to end up at the church. Freaking rats, brother. Infestation wherever I go. Just cannot get rid of the damn rats. Everywhere. Don't worry, I'm not forgetting. What's going on? Why are they all weird and postulant? Oh, there's a hole. Oh, uh, don't underestimate rats. They can stun lock you into oblivion. I've been killed by rats so many times. Uh, we were just here. <laughs> That's where I picked up the other cookbook. We could have just gone around. Oh, silly. Let me kill the giant rat because sometimes they will carry rune on us. Please die. Not today. Not today. Absolutely nothing in his breast. All right, let's check out that church. Go through the hidden pathway over here. Okay. Very curious to see what's beneath Marika's breast. Surely won't be a sacred tear that will feel kind of stupid. Church of Benediction. Anything spawning? Anything funky going on? Blessed Blue Do Talisman. Slowly restores FP. What a piece of trash! It was once thought to that the blessed sap of the earth tree would drip from its bows forever. But that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the earth tree became more an object of faith. You fools! The earth tree still exists! Oh, man. Sometimes this knot will take me hostage and I need to retreat for a little while. <laughs> to get rid of all this garbage inside my face. Okay. Ooh, there's some kind of promising cave. Ooh. An outfit? Pata. Show me this pata. Is it a leg? A small joke for your... Spanish-speaking uh, audience out there. A weapon comprised of linear, double-sided blade attached to a substantial guard wielded by the Oathseeker Knights. This versatile armament can be swung about like a fist or used in the manner of a straight sword. That's pretty cool. What kind of uh, scaling do they have? They didn't even look at it. Just a versatile weapon. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. So that's a straight sword. But it's not the straight sword move set. You know, it's, uh, it's its own thing. And I, then I assume you can dual wield. And that looks like the pretty standard claw moveset. Yeah, yeah, very, very claw-like. If it's not the same, very, very similar. I like it. I mean, the versatility is okay, but I don't know. It's just a nice reach. On the weapon. Pretty cool. I'm, I'm fond of it. What I'm more excited about is this new armor set, baby. It's pretty low on the poise scale. Two gauntlets, though. Let's check, check them out. Actually, they're pretty ass. How about the armor, though? Eh, no cape is a minus 10. <laughs> but the helmet, I bet, is pretty bit badass. Oh, that is shiny. That is actually very shiny. I like it. Poise, though, in the dumps. These uh, old seeker knights they don't really care about being protected, do they? All right, well, we're going to role play a little bit. That is just death dropping down there. And in fact, it is the end is the the, the the start of the game. <laughs> Don't drop there. Don't be fooled. That's just where the entire DLC starts. I mean, I think I'm going to drop down there because I want to teleport out anyway. But I will uh, first make sure that everything else over in this cliffside is explored. And I think that we have successfully successfully explored the entirety of this place. All right, buddy. Yep, yep. This is where we first warp in. We have gone first full circle. 
back into the gorgeous land. Before I forget, let's use the ashes. The power-ups and the buffs and all that stuff. There you go. Some more Revere Spear Ash so that the poor horse can take a beating. And now we're going to get this pata up to snuff. That's weird. It comes with an Ash of War that you actually cannot infuse into fist weapons. It comes with Impaling tr Thrust, so if you want to have Impaling Thrust on it, you cannot change the infusion. Here's a deal breaker for you. I mean, I I'm still going to use it a little bit. Let's put... What the hell do I want on this thing? Let's see the scale. Ah, the sc it's basically the same as the backhand. It's just a versatile weapon that you can put anything you want on it. Let's put the... The flaming strike is always great. We've been using... We've been using so much electricity. Oh, but the flaming strike, when you use the strong attack, it'll override the electricity, you know, so... It's probably not something I want. Heavy, only a B. Keen and B with a little bit of strength. Probably another weapon where you want to make them quality, you know. Uh, let's just put on the Thunderbolt. Why the hell not? But not make it lightning. Simply, we're simply going to put a heavy infusion and we'll do the exact same thing that we'll be doing with the back, uh, the back blade. Oh yeah, let's visit pain. Upon these gargoyles. Role playing as the knight of the big butthole. I don't know what the hell the actual name is. I forget already. Ah! Who the hell do you guys think you are? Lightning! 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 That actually helps quite a lot against freaking gargoyles. Oh, but now it is daylight. So much nicer. No longer this dark, freaking miserable area. Why am I even trying? Just have to ward my ass. I hate you. <laughs> die, die a terrible death. Uh, maybe the straight sword will be better, huh? huh. I, I can be convinced that the versatility is actually quite the, quite the boon. On this weapon. Pretty nice. I mean that extra reach being able to thrust like that as opposed to the fist weapon moveset. All right man what a horrible place it was just a bad time of the day huh? This <laughs> is so much nicer to traverse. How strange. Here I was poo-pooing the environment because it was so terrible you couldn't see a damn thing. It just so happened it was bad weather. Like going to Florida during a hurricane, I was like, man, the weather here sucks. Okay, there's just nothing else to be done here other than just kill a few uh, shadows. But now we were going to go into the actual big place. It's going to be quite the entrance here. It's a bunch of supplicants. You filth! Only butthole needs to be worshipped. You disgust me! I'm out of I'm out of juice. Without the electric, the the damage is not even close to as impressive. That's all right. That's okay. Pretty not expensive to put the electric on electrification on the weapon. Lasts for quite a while. You guys know me. You gotta go the roundabout way. You gotta explore the cliffside instead of going up the regular stairs. No, no, no. That's not how I roll. I go to the little nooks and crannies. Hey, we got the cross and we got a side of grace. We got the weirdo with the warm face. No, you're new. This place is just full of people, isn't it? Skadu tree fragment. I abandon here a part of the flesh of my body. More fools, huh? Let me get that grace. Lady butthole. She is very respectful. She's going to take off her helmet to talk to people. You know, it's rude to talk to people with your helmet on. What well, you have to say, Beardo? You must be the tarnished. Yep. I am Ansbach. The tarnished. That's right. Formerly Only in one. Service to Lord Ansbach. Mulk. But now, like you, and Lord Mulk. Soul guided by kindly Mikola. I'm hardly the steady hand I once was. 
Your previous my associations years make you suspect. Far me, which is why I have chosen to dedicate myself to investigation. To uh, discern Tender Mikola's ultimate purpose. I'd rather not volunteer service to a new master unless I know that I can be of use. I'm on to you, all-knowing Gondir or whatever your actual name was. It's the same freaking voice. You're not fooling me. I'm watching you. May I request a service of you? Sure, Six I'm here to serve. Identical to this one have been discovered in these lands. They are akin to tender Nicholas footprints or gravestones, which mark what he's left behind. If you discover any more crosses, be certain to tell me. I presume you too are keen to know. I really just don't what give a crap about these crosses. Doing here. If you discover, be certain. I presume just what. I could not care less about these crosses, but hey, if you have rewards for me, sure, buddy, sure. What are you? What are you up to, Fatso? Together, we work together for Mikola the Kind. Okay, you're Many not just fat, but also retarded. We have found many things. We have found. Oh. You are actually a merchant. I take back everything else. Enchant me? <laughs> that's, the, that's the vibe I just got from this guy. Enchant me! Seal Spirit Springs. Sure. We, we're back to buying... Uh, not resins. Sure. Just buy it all. I am rich. Why not get... Well, Pickle Turtleneck, huh? For some reason, we're getting it all. I have no <laughs> reason to want any of this crap. But maybe at some point I will want this crap. Here, you can even have some of my runes. I have so many of them. Here, have, have seven of these runes. So I can buy all of your <laughs> all of your butterflies. You love me now, I don't you? Like finding things for you, Lady Letter. Her allies and the forager brute things bring joy to all i like for right, you well, things i hope that you find yourself a life i like okay, for you nothing. things you got nothing else huh all right please goodbye. be quiet now goodbye to destroy all your wares i tough to do business now isn't it <laughs> fool all right let me get this i like this armor Pretty damn badass armor. Oh. Appears to I appear to have more fragments. Yes. More fragments. More damage negation from the enemy. Um, let's put our uh, some fat ass greaves. Fat ass gauntlets. There you go. Our poison has gone back up, and the armor is badass. So looking pretty cool. Somebody managed to die here. What you do? Okay, well, it appears it appears is not a hundred percent safe. We gotta find out what's on the cliffside. Oh, no, it's a recording in fifty minutes already. Let's go up to the doors. Whatever's up to the doors, uh, we're going to just end it right here. Open the doors. Appear in the darkness beyond. Or maybe there will be something spawning right in front of it. I really expect it. Some kind of monster. Maybe you can't even open the doors. So, behold door! Open. Butthole never skips arms day. Man, she's like... This door has no difficulty attached to it to me. She can push like she's on the toilet. I thought it was maybe a treasure chest, but it was nothing. Whoa! Okay. Attack! Oh. Disappointing. <laughs> I thought it was an actual boss encounter of some kind. You know, something truly intimidating. It was just a scorpion creature got absolutely trounced. All right, we're actually uh, surrounded by horrible monstrosities. This is terrible, and I hate it. Oh, 
easily be swarmed by these these creatures, I'm sure. I bet they have a grab attack and everything, so just slaughter it all. That's cool, that was cool, I like it. I just want this piece of loot, that's all I want. Are you the horn scent? You finally get to see their heads. They really are a version of the omen, huh? What the crucible used to the, the crucible's chosen used to be before they became deformed, horrendous, nightmarish creatures. More filthy scorpions. More filth. Surrounding me. Tells me nothing, huh? No hidden path ahead, but just vermin. I really like the moveset. It's not particularly a claw moveset. That's like a, a lot of hybridization. Anyway, gotta leave it here, buddy. Gotta leave it here. We're going to visit this mysterious horn scent temple next. Ooh, aggression! Up with dried liver. All right. Seems like Electric does quite well against all the monsters in this place so far. Lady Butthole continues conquering all the opposition. Nothing can stop her.